Hello. I got fired for my shoot. No, the director. A photography? He says I'm using drugs. I know, but I, I showed up today. I had like three drinks. Just whatever my dietitian prescribed it says, take three. Former R&B power couple Rihanna and Chris Brown will join forces once again and collaborate on two new songs. The songs are titled Get in the Car and don't make me tell you twice. You know, it was almost exactly to, uh, well, to the day a year ago that your boss, Rob Heinemann, was sitting in the chair you're in right now, and you didn't even have a Live Strong sporting park. It was still under construction, and you just come up with this brand new funky name. You were changing it from the Wizards to Sporting Kansas City. Uh, did that sound odd to you, even as a player at that time? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, uh... I think if you say funky, maybe the Wizards was kind of funky name where everybody can say. Uh, My personal opinion, I think alcohol is a bad thing. And uh, I think they need to concentrate on the medicinal marijuana side. Well, you can't tell anybody this. Okay. I'm listening. Uh, <laughs> yeah. From? I can't reveal the name of my home planet, but the Intergalactic Council is after me. You know... I don't normally say this when I meet somebody, especially somebody as attractive as you, but I think you're a fool. And you know what? I think you're a pig. And not for my family. <laughs> One of the sickest things I've seen in Kansas City politics. That's how the Firefighters Union president describes the vote this week by the Kansas City Council to cut more than seven and a half million dollars from the fire department. So let's go to our reporter, Lindsey Crabtree, for a better look at the KC Zoo. How's everything over there, Lindsey? to sports. Star player Justin Leather shares his thoughts on being coached by Jeffers. He just like put the attitude in everybody that we're going to win every game and like that's how we approach it. So like that's one of the main things. There's really nothing left for him to achieve. He got all the coach of the year awards, the championships, the regions, the districts. Like. Noticing more cyberbullying related to just being generally disrespectful, unkind, threatening to students in such an intense way that it causes emotional distress for the victim. I think we've stopped making economic arguments, and that's what we really need to be focusing on. It's focus on how our policies are better in the long term for the average Kansan. A lot of Democrats try to just be Republican light, and the fact is, a lot of people aren't going to come out and they're not going to be persuaded into voting for someone who's just a moderate position of the Republicans. If they actually stood on their own principles and if they actually spoke to those principles and held to those beliefs, then I think that they'd have a lot more success. The reason I'm here is because as a retiree, I have found a new voice. I found out that I am a retiree my pension check goes into my account from Keller High Water. As a retiree, I have a voice to say anything. 
anything that I want. I don't have a boss. And in all honesty, I don't give a what anybody thinks. I'm not afraid. 